Alright, what's up everybody? No reason to, to wait any longer. Hello and welcome to today's gameplay stream. This is the pre-stream. I'm Darkseid Phil. Yada yada yada. <laughs> it is October, ladies and gentlemen. October. It starts today, October 1st, 2016. Yes, the month of September is behind us. And you know what? Good. Because in a lot of ways, even though it was our introduction to the fall... At least gaming-wise, it was a disappointment. It really was, in my opinion. It was a, a month that I think it had a lot of potential. And the, it did not really live up to the expectations, right? That we had set for it. You know, we had things like... Uh, hoping for better netcode in King of Fighters 14. Didn't really happen. Wasn't any much better than... Uh, you know, than, than the initial session that I played. The continuing Deus Ex Human... Excuse me, a Deus Ex Mankind Divided, finishing it up and honestly wasn't very good. Uh, when it came to the main story conclusion, it was kind of disappointing. You know, finishing up Attack on Titan, that was kind of meh. Uh, and then we had episodic releases, right? We had Batman Episode 2, which I actually thought was good. I actually really liked Batman Episode 2. Uh, Hitman Episode 5, which was, eh, it was alright, it wasn't... It certainly wasn't my favorite of the episodes, but it wasn't my least favorite. It just was a little buggy and weird, which kind of threw me off. Uh, you know, in that regard, you would think that it would have been a little better, and it wasn't. Um, you had, uh, what was it? Urian in Street Fighter V, which, of course, was a disappointment. You know, what are you going to do there? And honestly, the major, the biggest major things that happened in September were re-releases. Right? We had a Bioshock and Dead Rising, both of which were fun games to play. But when you have a month that you typically is the month where the floodgates open. You know what I mean? Uh, and then it doesn't happen. It's kind of disappointing in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, especially when you know you're hoping for... Uh, a hype to start building up, and you know, remember, I, I've been talking about this all month, but last year, you had Until Dawn in late August, you had Metal Gear Solid Five, Mad Max, uh, Super Mario Maker, all happening within like a two to three week period, and that got people super pumped for the, the hardcore gaming season, which is hilarious because in a lot of ways it deflated after that, there was like actually games that weren't as good that came out afterward, um... So, honestly, it was kind of disappointing, you know. And it's funny because those who, uh, you know, those who make it their business to basically stalk my business, uh, you know, went on places like Social Blade and, you know, looking at the overall views on DSP Gaming and they came out and said, Oh, Phil had a terrible month. Har, har, har. It's supposed to be the hardcore gaming season. He had a terrible month. To which I respond in two different ways. First, I say, well, there was nothing out. What do you expect? This is a business that highly fluctuates depending on what games are out, right? If there's a month with big high-profile releases, I do well. If you actually take a look at the history of this year, back in May, April, it was actually March, April, May, and June, were great months. There were tons of new games, high-profile new releases, people were checking out all the playthroughs, I was reviewing them, the reviews were getting great viewership on KO Gaming, everything was big and exciting and different and new, right? And then, after that, we had a slow summer. Starting in July, from July through September, has been incredibly slow. Now, you know, I've done what I can to keep the business afloat and to keep stuff entertaining for you guys and gals, right? I did things like a Sonic 2006 Marathon. Uh, you know, I covered various different games and stuff. I did downtime series, downtime games. Uh, I played the re-releases that were available. You know, I did what was there. But the bottom line is, if gaming is not in a, a, a time where there's a lot of new releases and there's a lot of stuff going on, things are going to fluctuate, right? So, you know, in that regard, uh, you know, what are you going to do? The business is going to have highs and lows. That's number one. Oh, by the way, thank you to Vault Hunter 23 I saw he just said he sent me an email with some stuff about Banjo-Kazooie, which I'll be playing later tonight. Which, by the way, I just realized... Banjo-Kazooie has a hyphen in the name, and I never put a hyphen in the name of any of the videos uh, or anything. So anyone searching for Banjo-Kazooie and knows there's a hyphen uh, didn't find my playthrough. 
That's good. <laughs> All right, and then, number two, the other thing that I say is what I've been bringing up the past week, which is hilarious, YouTube screwed up. YouTube is completely screwed up when it comes to views, and I don't give a shit. All right? I just don't. Uh, if I'm, I, my, the bottom line is my business isn't based off of views anymore. It hasn't been this entire year. So for me, even though, yeah, viewership obviously is a general way for you to see how something is going business-wise, if there's ups and downs or whatever, but it's not the end-all and be-all of my business. It's not. You know, I don't have to, to live worrying every month if I have high views or low views. And the bottom line is a lot of people are saying, oh, look, uh, you know, September was slow for Phil. Is this a bad sign? No, because it's a perfect sign of that my business will fluctuate with what games are out. And the, the truth is that I actually made more money in September than I did in July and January of this year, both of which, supposedly according to YouTube, both of those months, I had more views. So figure that one out, right? Apparently I had more views in July and January, yet in September I made more money. It doesn't make any sense. And by the way, it's not even the results aren't even finished yet. The way that YouTube works is it's about three days staggered, if not more, when it comes to finalizing things like revenue, ad revenue and stuff like that. So I really won't even know what I made overall in September for about another two to three days. But already, I could tell you, uh, already I can tell you that uh, it says in September I made more money than I made in, uh, you know, July or January. So all these ridiculous, you know, I call chicken littles. That's what they are. They're chicken littles. The sky is falling, right? I say, what the hell are you talking about? Like, really, for reals, like... Relax. Trust me, if the sky was falling, you would know about it. <laughs> if there was a month where I couldn't pay my bills, you would know about it. Because I would basically be saying, please, you know, we really need pledges and stuff coming through Patreon and everything. I would let you know. It's not. It's not, it's not the situation at all. If anything, it's a slow introduction to the hardcore gaming season, right? We've got all these new games coming out soon. The end of this week, Friday of this week, coming up, we've got... Mafia 3, which I'm very excited for, although now, now, this is funny, a lot of speculation, everyone. I don't know if you've heard this, all right? I don't know if you guys and gals have heard this. Uh, Mafia 3, they've decided not to send out any review copies. So no outlets, no uh, gaming companies will be receiving review copies. What they're going to get is the day of release, just like everyone else, they're going to be getting digital codes to download the game digitally and play it. So no one will have an advanced review of Mafia 3 for once. All of us will be playing it together. So it could be great or it could be terrible. You know, we don't know. It, it could be a great game. It could be an awful game. But the question is, why didn't they send out review copies? I don't know. Uh, that's usually not a bad, uh, not a good sign. I hate to say it. It's usually not a good sign. Okay. And, uh, I don't know why, uh, they didn't. Hopefully it doesn't mean the game is terrible and they're trying to hide that fact. Uh, but I guess we're going to find out this coming Friday. And by the way, I've already announced this and I'll talk about it more, uh, in the week in preview. But this Friday I'm doing an all day event for Mafia 3. Meaning my first gameplay stream and my second. I'm going to do two streams that day. They're both going to be Mafia 3. And it's going to be all weekend too. Mafia 3 Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Because I want to get as far into the game as I possibly can get before Tuesday hits. Because when Tuesday hits, boom! A giant explosion. Because we've got both Gears of War 4 and WWE 2K17 releasing. So I don't want... Obviously I don't want... Uh, you know, two new games to come out when I'm in the middle of a freaking narrative-based game. So it's going to be the weekend of Mafia 3. <clears throat> Should be pretty fun. Should be pretty interesting. I'm very excited uh, to see what they've done with this game, okay? But you see what I mean? Like, this month is going to be crazy good. Mafia 3, Gears of War 4, which has both single-player and multiplayer. WWE, where I'm going to be doing my career mode, Okay. The PlayStation VR launch, which is going to be wild. I can't wait to cover that thing. That's going to be cool. Picture in picture and everything of PlayStation virtual reality. Never done virtual reality before, ever. Um, you know, Battlefield, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I may cover Titanfall and 
Uh, Here's also the, the first, excuse me, that was, uh, oh my god, that surprised me. I was not expecting that burp. Uh, the first Dark Souls 3 DLC, if anything, we may have a little bit of downtime. Uh, the next to last week of the month, but there's no way I'm going to beat Gears of War 4 and WWE in two days before the PSVR comes out. It's just not going to happen. So I know those are going to spill into that next week. So this month is going to be jam-packed with new stuff. And I'm very excited because whenever new stuff comes out, that's when the people start showing up. You know what I mean? It takes a little while, but people show up when the new stuff comes out. And uh, I'm excited for it, quite honestly. Oh, by the way... As, as a little, like, side bonus for me, this is also the month when ad revenue on YouTube picks up. So, even if my views don't skyrocket, I should still, hopefully, get to see a little bit of a nice bonus from, you know, the stuff that I'm putting out on YouTube. In addition to all of what I just mentioned, right, in addition to all of that, uh, I also get to review these new games. I'm going to be reviewing Mafia 3, Gears of War 4, probably WWE. The PSVR, the way I'm going to cover it, I'm going to do the raw coverage and gameplay and streaming here on DSP Gaming, but then I'm going to edit it together to do like in-depth reviews of the PSVR over on KO Gaming. So that's going to be cool. Um, and, you know, all the other games, like I said, Xenoverse 2 and all that, I'm going to be reviewing them all. So KO Gaming is going to have a very prolific month. There's going to be lots of, of videos coming out on that channel. And it's going to be pretty exciting. Oh, Gino, Gino Saji just says, I forgot to tweet that the stream is live. You're actually right. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> You're right. I guess I should probably tweet, shouldn't I? Oops. I'll do it right now. Uh, also, some people are having issues with stream chat. Uh, I'm aware of this, but I don't know how to fix it. Uh, it seems like I guess some people are trying to join through the client on the kingofhate.com that's built into the web page, and they're getting errors. They're basically saying that, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, wait a minute. Why is the channel why is the channel full? Wait a minute. We have to raise the channel limit. Yeah, where's limit serve? Hold on a second. Wow, this is weird. Uh How do we do this? There we go. I just upped the channel limit manually. So that's what was going on. People were trying to join the, ch the channel and they couldn't because the channel limit was set. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, that sucked. Look, all these people were trying to join and they couldn't join. God damn this stupid thing. Something went wrong with this stupid bot. <laughs> The bot, we have a bot, alright everyone, let me explain. We have a bot in the stream chat, it's called Limit Serve. It's an IRC bot. What it's supposed to do is that it's supposed to manually increase the amount of users who could be in the channel at one time, alright? Now the reason this bot exists is because without this bot, people could flood the channel. And if we don't have this bot, People could come into the channel with, like, massive amounts of accounts and spam it and be nasty. With this bot, what it's supposed to do is gradually increase the amount of users in the channel and allow, you know, allow it to basically be regulated. Unfortunately, the bot's not working. The bot isn't working at all. So I don't know what's going on. The bot is not doing anything right now. So I just manually increased the limit of the channel. I'm still doing it right now. It looks like I'm going to have to do it again. This bot is not working. I don't know what the bot is doing. I apologize. We had... Wow. Lots of people are coming into the channel right now. <laughs> Here, I'm going to increase the channel limit again. <clears throat> Sorry, everyone. Yeah, this bot is on the fritz, apparently. Now, it's ever since we used IRC, way back when, you know, what was it? The fall of 2014 when I quit Twitch and I joined... I, I started doing YouTube streaming and we started using this. 
Uh, unfortunately, it looks like the fucking stupid, uh, the bot screwed up. Uh, and, uh, see, and here's a perfect example. Here come the idiot trolls. The idiot trolls. Here they are. Well, anyway, I'm sure that the mods will start banning these idiots in a second. But, uh, anyway. So, anyway, let's get back on topic here. I got all distracted by the stream chat not working. The mods are, are currently taking care of business in the stream chat. So, anyway. Let's get back on topic. I have good news, and then we'll get started with gameplay. The good news is, we did hit the Patreon goal for the month of September. It was a mess. Let me put it this way. It was a big mess. All right. Uh, the reason it was a big mess was because Patreon doesn't properly reflect anything anymore. It just doesn't. It's a pain in the ass. And I don't know why. I've talked to them multiple times, and they can't fix it. Okay? So the problem is that people are pledging. And as they pledge, the amount on the page is supposed to go up. Well, what happened is people would pledge. It would charge them. Then they would lower their pledge so the amount would go up and then go back down. So we had people pledging and then, and then lowering their amounts. And it would, the, the amount would go up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. And it was a mess. It was a mess. And I don't know, you know, why this happened. I've talked to Patreon. I was like, why can't you just have it be reflect properly, right? Why can't it be reflected properly uh, when it comes to, uh, how can I say? Uh, when it comes to uh, having the page show what ha actually has charged or gone through. I don't know. They won't give me a solid answer. And they basically said they don't want to change it. I'm one of the few people who does the upfront charges to avoid trolling on Patreon. But the bottom line is, it's as of this morning, we're good. All right? As of this morning, we're good. Enough people have cleared. And we are a go for the Halloween marathon. So tomorrow night, it's actually going to be Sunday night. I am going to go to thekingofhate.com. I'm going to set up on the forums the thread uh, by which we can uh, have people start nominating the horror games for this marathon. All right? So that'll be good. And uh, then I'm going to start upgrading people's accounts because I'm sure there's a bunch of people who pledge who don't, don't have premium forum access yet. So over the next week, I'll have people's accounts get upgraded. All right? And then, uh, you know, there'll be another week for people to nominate games. So don't worry. If you don't have your account upgraded yet on thekinghate.com right away, it's fine. No worries. You will you will have it upgraded, you know, within a week. And uh, and then after that week ends, uh, we'll be able to... Uh, well, excuse me. Once the two weeks end is what I meant to say. About mid-month, what I'm going to do is take the games that have been nominated. And I'm going to take the most nominated ones and I'm going to put them into a poll. And then for the next two weeks of October, the patrons will be voting on which horror games I'll be playing on Halloween. In addition, this month, as I head out and, you know, do my my different stuff, okay, uh, I will be uh, looking for a Halloween costume. So I'll be doing that as well. I'll be looking for a Halloween costume. And uh, I'll be going to various places. There's a few costume shops I've already checked out. There's one other one I want to check out. Uh, so that's going to be a fun event. Three to four horror-themed games at the end of the month. All right. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to gradually increase the channel again here. I know that some people are trying to join the stream chat. It's still not working. I know. Let's see here. What the hell? Someone says... <laughs> Someone says they're blacklisted. What is going on? I don't see them here, though. Hmm. I don't know what's going on. The stream chat is a mess.
The stream chat is a mess because the bots aren't working today at all. I think IRC bots in general are down today. They're not working at all. Because I see people are spamming the same thing. And when you spam the same thing, the bot should be kicking these people and it's not doing it. So the bots are completely busted today. For whatever reason. That sucks. I'm going to try to increase the channel limit one more time here. Ah, I just got an assist. I'm getting an assist from someone. Hold on a second. This is a rare occurrence. Someone has come into the chat to help me with IRC. Sweet. Hold on a second. So this might work. I guess I guess what happened is someone was notified that the bots aren't working. So someone has come in to help me with the stream chat to get it in order. I apologize for the late start, everyone. The stream chat is a mess today. A lot of stuff going on. And of course, people are listening to this in the week or the week of preview. In the pre-stream, they're like, what's going on? The stream chat is just a mess, basically. If we go ahead, we can kick some of these people who are spamming. Go ahead and give these guys a kick, and they won't come back, I, th I don't think. Hold on. I'm going to kick a bunch of people, if you guys are legit. And, uh... If you guys are legit, please come back. Alright? But this should get rid of the bots. I'm going to kick anyone who's not voiced for a second. And if... You are a legit viewer, and you're like, oh man, just come right back, okay? This should take care of the issue, though. Oh, I recognize someone. Hold on. What a mess. I apologize if I'm kicking anyone in error. <laughs> Well, it was working. Now I don't think it is. Alright, I'm going to up the channel limit. FYI here. Yeah, I would say... I'm going to up the channel limit. And, uh, I, boy, this is probably the most boring pre-stream ever. For people who are going to listen to this on YouTube. And I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I'm going to up the channel limit. I'm going to say... 
don't uh do not voice anyone you don't recognize today uh i've already been notified that apparently a network side uh a network side fix is in effect people are trying to fix the problem all right Hmm. Let me try something. Nah, see, that didn't work. Yeah, well, there's not much I can do about it, everyone. We're going to have people coming in and spamming, unfortunately, today. But I would say to the mods, like I said, just voice people who you recognize. If you don't recognize someone, don't voice them. Uh, sorry to newcomers today. If you are a newcomer to my stream, stream chat is messed up. This is the first time this has happened in a million years. <laughs> uh, so there's not much I could do. Uh, what I'll do, let me actually, here's a good, I, I should message uh, Onyx about this, too. Alright, I just messaged him, so hopefully he'll get on it, or at least check it out, when he gets a, sh a chance here. Uh, but anyway, wow, what a fun pre-stream this has been. <laughs> One of the longest ones ever, has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Alright, so anyway, let's uh, let's get started, everyone. Complete considering that we now have uh, had this delay, because of the nonsense, uh, FYI... To any newcomer who's joining the stream, I apologize. I can't really get you voiced right now or anything because we've got too many uh, issues with stream chat. We've got most of the regulars in here chatting. Okay, so that's good. And I apologize that, uh, you know, the stream chat screwed up today. Uh, we'll work on it. We'll try to get it fixed. It happens. It happens rare, though. It's rare that it happens. This would be one thing if this was every day, but this is a rare occurrence. So I don't know what happened with the bots that the bots aren't working. More than likely, the bots are not uh, syncing with the server or something. I don't know. Typically, they work fine. So, I don't know what's going on. But, uh, all right. So, I'm going to start right now with some Forza. It's going to be, well, now, we're, unfortunately, we're late. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's going to be about three hours of Forza, continuing from where we left off yesterday with a new, uh, new festival, new events and stuff. Okay? And, uh... And then we're going to, later tonight, I'm going to be playing more Banjo, okay? Later tonight, I'll be doing more Banjo-Kazooie, and I'm at the end game of that. I might even finish it tonight. It depends on, on how long I, uh, how long it, it, it goes, and, you know, if I suck, because I do typically suck at tougher parts, and I've heard this is the very, uh, end of the game is pretty challenging, so, Okay. All right, everyone, let's get started with Forza. Enough of the, the stream chat hilarity that just distracted me from what I was saying on pre-stream. <laughs> it's time to get started. All right? Sounds good? All right, let's begin. <laughs> 